Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nipple here. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode series. Um, so, we have a little bit to do today. I want to discuss basically the new update and DLC that got announced. And we've also got new enclosures to make. This one was suggested once again by Superbrand. Uh, he suggested that we do giant anti and beds tapers. He also suggested that um, we should like make some sort of decorations into an Australia area over here. And I'll probably do like a South America one here. So yeah, shout outs to him again for that. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Next up, our mechanic has completed some research on the North Africa theme, so that's that basically fully done. So I think that's both Africa themes actually, so if I want to do any more decorations with that, then I mean I can just do that. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So I moved on to barriers because I want to get those done just in case I want to just use some normal barriers for, an, for a habitat. After that I'm probably going to move on to the Australia theme because like I said, um, we're going to be making some Australia type of decorations in this video. I also wanted to mention that the guests are really really happy with the platypus. Like we made the habitat last video and it's already become the most popular habitat species so I'm happy with that. And then we've also got the eastern brown snake as the exhibit species just over here. So yeah. Alright so I keep getting messages that habitat cleanliness of the capybaras and warthogs is a disease risk so I think it'll probably be best if I uh, release the offspring. I'll keep Gorton Quandell, obviously. Because they're like the main two. And then also probably release some of the warthogs. So I'll keep the pregnant ones for now. Um, wait, hang on. I'll, s I'll sell the albino one and then. probably release these ones. I'll keep the pregnant ones for now as well. There we go, and the albino one. If I can, I'll quick trade it. So, there we go. In the animal storage. Now, I'll just quick trade it. There we go. Alright, I've decided to move the mechanic back to the South America theme instead of barriers, because, I mean, well, if we're doing an Australian area and an African area, I might as well make a South American one while we're here, so yeah. It's the moi, the moi, to the moi, the moi. Yeah, I'm, I'm making some South American decoration before I start on the Australia stuff, because I have to get the research for that done first, so... Yeah, South America decorations. I'm gonna make a sign here, not exactly sure what to do for it yet, but we got the mo. So yeah. So I've just made some a sign in the entrance to the South America area. The off center text as well. We've got some statues down here. Uh, I was gonna put it in front of the frog, but that lives in both North and South America, so I put it just outside. I'm not sure why. It's not like I'm gonna be able to fit an entire North America section here. Anyways, yeah, we move in, got the moi, and just some plants and stuff. Little sort of village, and just done a stand up of a temple. Got like a mosaic there, and just a couple decorations around. And I'm about to move on to the Australia area now. This isn't a drill, we've got more baby capybaras, look at them. Oh my god, look at them. Gordon Quandel have had the children again. That's sick. Spectre comes to the zoo. It's the first report I've actually checked in a little while, so I'm glad to see it's all good. So everything's five stars, except education that's four stars. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. On the Australia sign just now, I've got these, these. Got a couple of lights. I'm just gonna put like welcome to Australia. I feel like how I put uh just welcome to Africa, welcome to South America. So yeah, this should be done soon. So we 
I've just had a couple baby platypus. I got seven, one baby platypus, and he is somewhere. Don't tell me he left as soon as I went into the habitat camp. That's not. That is him. It looks exactly the same size. Look at him. Oh wait, no, the adults are a bit bigger. Anyways, yeah, got our first baby platypus. Also, I have finished decorating the Australia area, so well, welcome to Australia. For some reason I decided it would be cool to make the L hanging down. Got the Mecca kangaroo cassowary statue, which got some just normal decorations, stuff like that. So I go around here. Had to put some generators here to power these lights, and then they little like, what's it called, sort of, uh, canopy thing. So yeah, that's what we got for now. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start on the habitat. What I feel like it would be best to do, however, so I've looked up about the bear's tape here and the giant anteaters, and I've realised they can live, if I can, if I just quickly really get it up, so, bird's taper can live with capybaras, giant anteaters, and Colombian white-faced capuchins. So what I'm thinking is, maybe, if I can, I'm going to make like a little Amazon rainforest area. So we're going to get two, maybe three more capybaras, giant anteaters, the capuchins, and the tapers. Won't be walked through because you can't walk through a tape air enclosure, as it says here. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna see if I can make that, and hopefully, we'll have like a little, an awesome little rainforest area. All right, so this is what I have so far for the rainforest habitat. Um, so here's the shape of it. It's got 6,844 square meters of space, which is a lot more than enough. Uh, put a little like viewing platform up, up here so like guests can just like look into it and just see what's going on and made some custom little supports here out of bamboo trying to fit the South America theme not exactly sure what to do for the walls at the moment got like a little rock arch right over the door which honestly looks like someone just taken a massive shit and used it as a door frame anyways yeah I need to try and find a cool design to make like barriers, but I also want people to be able to see through them, so yeah, I'll try to pick something out. I changed my mind on doing the like rainforest, like whole biome in the middle here. I decided I'm going to make like a sort of rainforest dome, so that's just going to be the capuchins, um, and if I can fit them in, the giant anteater and taper. Uh, I was going to put in the capybaras, but I mean, we've already got a habitat for them, we don't really, like we don't really need to. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for the mechanics to finish research, and then I'm going to start building some of this. The world research is done, which means I can actually get the dome done. So I've got this bit done. Just got to move it all around, put it in the circle shape, and then I can decorate the inside, see if I can get any animals in there. So I'll be back when I've done that. I've got the dome finished. I forgot to decorate, like, with planks and stuff, so there's only that bit that's been done. And I'm also adding, like, an outdoor bit for the animals. Um, while I'm here, I want to talk about some stuff that's been announced for the game, so... First of all, got 1.11 coming out. So it's basically just, um, adding, like, new exhibit stuff, like, upgraded cameras, controlling, like, reproduction of exhibit animals, and it also adds some new behaviours to escapes, like... So, for example, animals will, uh, knock over bins or eat rubbish, stuff like that. Um, they're also adding a few new, like, apparently they're adding a few new, like, terrain options, like ramping, and things like that. And there's, and the main thing, oh, mechanics research, anyway, the main thing that's been added, well, it, it's not part of 1.11, but we've got a new DLC coming out on October 18th. It's the Twilight Pack, and it add, it's mainly a, like, scenery pack, but it adds five new animals, those being the common wombat, the black and white striped skunk, 
uh, the raccoon, red fox, and the Egyptian fruit bat, which is kind of big for planet two because we don't have any like flying animals yet. So we might be able to get like birds and things like that soon. Um, and then uh, they're also adding a basically walkthrough exhibit for you to put the bats in. So that's also going to be quite cool. I can't wait to see how people build with that. And they're also adding a new um, like tutorial sort of level, like the scenario things. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. The back part of the dome done. I know it's not that big, but as long as the animals can get outside and they have enough space, it should be fine. I probably will make it bigger if there's not enough space. Anyways, yeah, now I've got to add a keeper gate to make this into like a proper enclosure. And I will start decorating it and then moving the animals in. Oh, well, well, well. We've got more adult capybaras. They're all maturing. Except for this one. Never mind, he's matured now. But yeah, new adult capybaras. Wait, Quando thing was five stars? Oh, that's big. That's insane. I am more than happy with that. Oh, they're all hungry. I'm gonna call the keeper. There we go. Anyways, yeah, back to the dome. I've started to add in some plants on the inside. I might add another like indoor bit over here for bedding, for like animal shelter, stuff like that. And just to reduce stress. So if I do get onto that, I will obviously add those. But yeah. You also gotta do the outside as well, add some trees into there. Uh check the space on here. There is more than enough to get some of each animal. So I might reconsider and get more capybaras. I'm still not sure yet because people have got a whole enclosure of them. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm done. So the dome is completely finished now. So I've got staff areas over here. So I put quarantine, then the usual stuff. Then I put a trade center just just to make it a bit easier. Then I also got some toilets, some little like decorations. Got a couple shops over here. And then we've also got the transformer, the water cleaner in the background, uh, some more decorations around here. And on the inside of the dome, it's basically just a jungle because it's a jungle dome. Uh, I've put in a, a few climbing things. If there's any more needed, I'll put those in. Got a little bedding area in here. Probably going to have to add some more lights to that because I've only got two butterflies. It seems quite dark, especially in like, these corners. And then there's the outside bit over here, which is quite small, but yeah, we've got a few balls of water, some plants, and then just some climbing stuff. So I'm going to see if I can buy, it, buy the animals and then I'll move them in now. Alright, so I've bought the animals. Um, so I'm not going to pronounce the names because I know I'm going to fuck most of them up. Except this one. This is George. He's an albino capybara. And then we got all these guys, and better call Roll. Anyways, yeah, sorry, I was a bit cringe. Uh, yeah, we got Colombian white faced capuchins, beds, tapers, two capybaras, two giant anteaters. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send them all into quarantine. And then, once they've all passed, I'll move them into the zoo and hopefully people will actually be able to go and see them. So yeah. So, I've moved all of the animals in by giving them suitable enrichment, because the vet's just been doing research. Like that. There we go. And everyone seems to be really happy. I genuinely love how this turned out. I think this is probably one of the best builds I've done in this game. So yeah, I'm really glad with it. Oh, mechanic research as well. Alright, so... That's three new animals in one video. I'm really glad with it. So, yeah, I'm gonna end it here for today's video. If you guys liked, make sure to 
like and subscribe. Comment what animal you want to see next. It could be like a reptile house, it could be like, I don't know, a big cat. Literally any animal in the game. Just you name it, I'll try and I'll try and add it if I like the idea. And yeah. I I will see you guys in the next one. Four likes, four part, whatever. Goodbye. Okay, I pull up, hop out.